you call that out of focus? It's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Sorry about the lens. I don't have my wide angle on my camera right now. But I'm so eager to go fly this little freaking quad, I'm not even going in to get it. This is a Vista pick. It's a Cadex Vista on a little 3 inch toothpick. Which probably means it's like too heavy and it's going to fly like crap. Because you can't put a Vista on a little 3 inch toothpick and expect good results. Well, that's what we're going to find out. I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're going to learn something today. Bye. Before we fly the Vista pick, let's take a look at it here on the bench and let's just see how it's put together and like talk about some of the choices that were made in building it. And before we do that, I got to thank Robert Landrum. He is one of my patrons and over on my Discord server, he reached out to me and he said, I've built this Vista pick. Do you want to try it? I didn't actually build this. He did. And I, was, I was very happy to get the invitation because I think there's a really interesting question of just how light of a quad, just how small of a quad can you get a DJI, or in this case, a Cadex Vista, can, how small of a quad can you get it into? And this thing is pretty freaking small. How small is it? Dry weight is uh, 94 grams. And with a battery, uh, I flew it with a 450 milliamp hour 3S. It is about 140 grams. And that's actually a little bit heavy for the motors that are on it. So the motors that are on this guy are the FPV cycle. That's Bob Ruge or Kebab FPV, his website. And these are his motors. They're 1303 5000 kV. And I don't, I don't design three inch quads for a living. So I reached out to Bob and asked him to comment on why he picked these motors. And I'm going to put a little screen display of our conversation there so you can read all of his wise words. But one of the things he said was, 1200 sized motors are pretty much for two inch props. By the time you get to three inch props, you just have to have a bigger motor. 1300 sized motors were just about perfect for three inch props. And then 1400 sized motors were crazy performance, but also really short battery life. But one of the things he said was that somewhere around 120 grams, you really have to start getting to bigger motors. And if Bob said that, then you can take it to the bank. But I flew this guy I didn't hate how it flew. More, you'll see it fly in just a second. The frame is the Halo RC guitar pick, which is a three inch toothpick frame. And Robert told me he picked that because uh, some of the other choices that are out there, he didn't uh, hear two good things about their reliability, especially if you're gonna be up at the top end of a toothpick's weight range, you definitely want a more durable bottom plate. The toothpick comes with a standard canopy for an analog camera, but there is this 3D printed canopy specifically for the Vista. And it does a pretty good job of holding the Vista in place. Hold, it holds the antenna really securely. I didn't have any problems losing the antenna in crashes. It's pretty tall, but I mean, what are you going to do? The flight controller is the JHE MCU all-in-one. And unlike many all-in-one flight controllers, this one is truly, well, okay, it doesn't have a video transmitter, but it does have a flight controller and ESC all-in-one board. And these flight controllers are specifically made for toothpick builds like this. I'm always skeptical whenever you start integrating ESCs into other components. You, the more you have to cram them in, the less reliability there will be. But people have had pretty good results with it so far, especially when you're not pushing it to, if you try to put like a proper five inch or four inch on it, it'll just kill it with voltage spikes. But on these smaller toothpick builds, they seem to do okay. The props on this are GemFan 3016. They were selected by Robert Landrum, the guy who built this, and they're also recommended by Kebab as good three inch props. So I guess that's as good of a pedigree as you could ask for. I realize that a lot of this, I'm just kind of telling you what other people say about this quad. I've flown it and I'm gonna show you what it's like to fly. I guess I should give you my impression of what it's like to fly. But before I do that, uh, let me say, if you end up liking the idea of this quad and you wanna build it yourself, uh, Robert Landrum has a build tutorial he made, and I'm going to link it in the video description. It's the least I could do. He sent this thing to me to fly.
how does it fly? Um, it feels heavy. It feels heavy compared to like the, I'm thinking of the Beta FPV HX115, which is a much smaller and lighter toothpick style quad. Uh, it feels heavy compared to that. But as I expressed in my video about the tiny trainer, a heavy three inch can be pretty enjoyable to fly uh, if, if you approach it in the right, from the right mindset. It's got a little bit more weight and a little bit more fling for freestyle compared to a lighter weight three inch. Now, if we do compare this to the Tiny Trainer, the Tiny Trainer has the 1400 sized motors, uh, I think 1404, maybe 1400, maybe even taller. And those are absolute gut rippers for racing, but also battery killers. So this is a little heavier, but it's striking a different balance where it comes to power versus, uh, versus flight time. All that being said, if you're looking to fly a three inch with uh, DJI in it, your choices are fairly limited. And I found this one to be pretty fun, pretty durable, and uh, just overall pretty decent. The big question that I would ask though is, how much better would it be if we just put a naked Cadex Vista in it? If we took all the, would it just overheat and burn itself out or would it be flyable? I hope to get a chance to try that eventually, but uh, uh, for now, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy flying. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Cuckoo Kaka, subscribe to my daddy.